everyone, Arnaldo Offerman of Master School Dances. I want to show you my new wireless transceiver, the ADJ Wi-Fi series. This is the new technology that replaces the Wi-Flex. And at first I'm like, why? But after looking into this, there's a whole bunch of new features that the Wi-Fi offers and a whole bunch of new possibilities. First, let's look at the box. All metal construction, the Wi-Fi has four important sides. Your first side, of course, allows you to control your channel. Now, this uses new and exclusive technology developed by ADJ. You'll notice that you'll be able to actually set the dip switches and various combinations to select your frequencies. Even though it's in 2.4 gigahertz, don't worry about it colliding with your wireless router or anything like that because it still has special technology that I guess magic little elves to keep things from clashing. Point being is, this thing is rock solid secure. Actually, I was told that this is even more stable than the Y-Flex as far as keeping a connection. And I've had zero dropouts with the Y-Flex. Keep in mind, I have a 2.4 gigahertz audio transmitter. I also have a 2.4 gigahertz um, wireless router and Bluetooth. And it's still working just fine. So I can't wait to see what the Wi-Fi can do. On the other two sides, you'll notice that it has your DMX in and DMX out. But the exciting thing is that both sides allow either a 3-pin or a 5-pin configuration. This allows a more, uh, more flexibility to whether you're using traditional DJ fixtures that use a 3-pin or if you're in a theatrical setting where you need a 5-pin converter or 5-pin DMX cable, excuse me. On the other side, of course, is the antenna, and it seems that the uh, antenna outings are standardized because it's the exact same ending or the exact same size that fits on my wireless router and fits on the Y-Flex and my wireless audio transmitter. So I guess there's a standard for antennas, and of course, the Wi-Fi seems to be following it. It's got little feetsies on the bottom, so you can have it sitting on a tabletop, or if you need to have it hung, Instead of using the Wi-Fi or the Wi-Flex type where you just bolt a clamp directly into it, you actually bolt a clamp to the handle and then you can screw the handle or the little, I guess, clamp, whatever it's called, directly onto the Wi-Fi box itself. Again, this offers a little bit more flexibility in how you hang it, but most importantly, you can't accidentally over tighten your clamp and then destroy or, um, you know, get it stuck in there and destroy where it latches in so your clamp is stuck on your wireless unit forever and ever. Amen. As far as power, there is so much technology crammed this in this thing at one time that they were not able to just put in a regular IEC. So instead, you have 300 milliamp minimum, 9 volt to 12 volt AC uh, adapter or AC converter, AC to DC converter, however you want to call it. Now, I'm not as excited on this one as opposed to the other because I did like that a fact that I could, you know, power link my IECs, but it's really not a big deal to, you know, safety tie this to a you know to the truss when it's plugged in or whatnot and it's not a huge wall wart where it hugs two hogs two or three outlets so that's really not that big of a deal where it offers a lot of flexibility and room to grow is that the wi-fi is a whole series of devices first we're starting with this this is your wi-fi dmx transceiver this means that this is either a receiver or a transmitter now, the way that it decides whether it's a receiver or a transmitter is the moment you plug into DMX in or DMX out, it automatically detects whether it's transmitting or receiving. This is good because you don't want to set up your entire show and then, oh, why is the show not working? And then it turns out after 45 minutes later that you forgot to set the proper parameters. This does that automatically for you. So that's pretty cool. There's also the new Wi-Fi lighting, and this can communicate directly with the Wi-Fi lights. So not only can I have this box communicate with the other box and have my wired lights, you know, now communicate with a wireless box and all of a sudden my show's wireless, but I can also have this communicate with the wire Wi-Fi lights. And if I do output from those Wi-Fi lights, well, then those lights would also work just fine. Of course, you also have the controllers, like the RGB AWC, which I just ordered. Can't wait to get that one. And the RGB AWC will communicate with the Wi-Fi enable lights. Or you can have the RGB AWC communicate with this, and then whatever PARs I have hooked up to this will communicate with the RGB AWC wirelessly. So again, a lot of different features. That's pretty cool. You should be excited about that, because I sure as heck am. So again, this is the ADJ Wi-Fi Wireless DMX Trancy. My name is Arnaldo Offerman with Master School Dances. 
make sure you guys keep an eye on my YouTube and video or Facebook video channel so you can see some of the new upcoming reviews. Also, I'll be posting some information on my seminar that will be at the Atlantic City DJ Times DJ Expo sponsored by ADJ. If you have any questions or comments or if you have any tips while, I'm at, while I'll be in Atlantic City, let me know. You know, like uh, good places to eat, places to make sure that I avoid snooky, that sort of thing. So again, Arnaldo Offerman, Master School Dances, Wi Fly, DMX, Wireless DMX Transceiver by ADJ. Thank you so much and God bless.